Hi, my name is Amanda Hartman and I am one of the speech pathologists here on the team at AssistiveWare and today we are looking at Proloquo for Text. So, you've started using Proloquo for Text and now you want to make it suit your needs. This video will give you some quick tips and tricks for personalising your voice. Let's look at the app now. Choosing the voice that is right for you is really important. Although you will have been asked to choose a voice when you first open Proloquo for Text in the Startup Wizard, you may want to change that voice later. My current voice is Lisa. Here's how she sounds. I like dancing. And here's how we can change the voice and the voice qualities. I click on the options icon, that's the cog on the top toolbar. And this actually gives us a list of all the features that you can change and edit within the app. So I'm going to look down and find the speech and language options. When I go into this section, I can immediately see the active languages that I have. I have both English and Spanish activated in this user. For English, at the moment, I can see the Lisa voice, which was the one that I chose in the startup wizard. If I click here, I go to more options that allow me to change my voice, but also change my rate of speech or even personalize my voice by changing the pitch. For speech rate, the default is normal. Hello, I am Lisa, the female Australian English. But I can speak faster. Hello, I am Lisa, the female Australian English synthetic voice from. Or I can speak slower. Hello, I am Lisa, the female Australian. Let's leave it set to normal for today. For voice personalization, I can experiment with the pitch of my voice. I can make it higher. Hello, I am Lisa, the female Australian English synthetic. Or I can make it slightly lower or deeper. Hello, I am Lisa, the female Australian. But let's just leave it set to normal for today. You can play with these settings for your user to get the voice sounding just the way you want it. Let's look at the voices now. If I click on the voice, I can see that Lisa is the only English voice currently installed in my Proloquo for text. But I can also see an option to download alternative English voices. These voices can be downloaded for free at any time. I click on more English voices to see more. I can hear some of the voices first by clicking on the speaker icon. Hello, I am. Hello, I am Ellie. Hello, I am Tyler. When I've chosen a voice to download, I'll click on it. So let's go ahead and download Tyler. It checks with me on that and I tap download. The voice will download in the background, but I can keep using the app while that's happening. So let's go back and look at pronunciation. You will notice in this set of options that there is a, a section for pronunciation of English. This allows me to add words that are always said incorrectly by the text to speech voice within Proloquo for text. Let's try it out quickly. So. If I press the plus button at the top right and I type in the original text, for example, my brother's name, Lachlan. And currently, it sounds like this. Press speak to hear it. Lachlan. So that doesn't quite sound right. So to get it right, I now type how I would like it to sound in this pronunciation field. So I would type lock and Len, breaking the word into the syllables. Now let's press speak to see how it sounds. Lachlan. That's better. You can see that I do have an option here to use phonetics, and there is more information on our website about that. But in many ways, it is easier to leave it just turned off and just try typing the word in um, the way you might say it. I tap back here and my new pronunciation has been saved. I can add as many pronunciations as I need. 
So now I have the voice that suits me and I've made sure it pronounces the words the right way. Awesome. I can see the Tyler voice has now finished downloading. How fast it downloads will depend how many voices you are downloading and the speed of your internet connection. Now that that Tyler voice has downloaded, I can click voice and I can select it. Hello, I'm Tyler. The That's how I would change to a different voice in Proloquo for text. But I'm going to go back to Lisa because I kind of like her voice. Hello. Let's back out of this voice section now, back to our overall speech and language settings. I can make those same voice changes to my English, but also to my Spanish or any other languages I have active for my user. There is also a tab for managing languages here, but this will be looked at in more detail in the e-learning video for multi-language support. Another thing you may wish to look at in the language and speech options is how the text is spoken from the text pad and the quick blocks. So these are the default settings for the text pad. For play, this is what will happen when you push the play button on the text pad. The default is to have it play all at once. But if you want to play it sentence by sentence, click that and let's see how it works. We'll clear this and paste in a few sentences. And now let's push play. On the weekend I watched the baseball game. You can see it now reads sentence by sentence. And I have to push play to read the next one. It was an exciting game. There were five home runs. This is a nice feature if you're wanting to leave a pause for communication partners to comment or interject, or even possibly to give them more time to process what you're saying. Let's go back into options now. Similarly, by paragraph means that it will read a larger blocks, a block of text containing paragraphs, one paragraph at a time. Let's change it back to all at once as that's the default and go back one level. What about speak as you type? You can see in here that speak by sentence has the slider toggled green for on. That's the default for this section. We've demonstrated that by showing that the text spoke when it got to the end of the sentence and the punctuation was added. However, we can slide on speak by letter and I'll start typing. Oh. N. It spoke each letter as I typed it. Go back to options now and now slide on speak by word. And keep typing. T. H. E. This time when I add the word space the whole word the will be spoken. The. W E Weekend Speak by word also works for words that have been chosen from the word prediction bar. Go back into options and this time you can slide on speak punctuation and speak white space. These might be handy features for someone who needs the auditory feedback for what they have pressed as they type. Let's finish the sentence with these things turned on. Backspace, comma, weekend. I went to the P A party. Now adding the period to the end will have the whole sentence spoken. Dot. On the weekend, I went to the party. Back into those options again. And let's go back to the default settings. Just to note, the speak by paragraph is useful for lo longer blocks of sentences or if you're writing many sentences at once and you want to wait till the end of typing to have it spoken. It will be spoken when you press the enter or return key on the keyboard. 
So different combinations of these speak as you type settings can be adjusted to suit the user. Let's go back one level now and we're going to go down and have a look at how you can set up the quick blocks to be spoken. There are two choices here and they are for the text to be spoken immediately or for it to be inserted into the text pad. And these two actions are achieved by either a, just a tap or by being touched and held down. So what you can see in here are what the default settings are for phrases, quick talk and history. The default for phrases and history is for the message to be inserted into the text pad when tapped and then spoken immediately if it's being touched and held down. And this is the opposite is true for quick talk. So think about your user and how they would like their messages in the quick blocks to be spoken for them. What do they want to say immediately? What do they want to go to the text pad? Because you can tap on these sections to make those changes. If at any time I need help with this speech and language section, I can go to the bottom here and press this blue link. This takes me directly to that section of the manual where I can read and learn more and help me with anything I'm unsure about. This video was all about personalising the voice in Proloquo for text. Please check our website for more resources and videos to support you using Proloquo for text. Thank you.